Here's my brand new wheelchair, and here is my older chair. Right now, I'm just going to transfer into this chair so you can see the difference in my posture. So right now, I am being supported all the way up to here with my backrest. You can see that it's that high, and that's what the back looks like. So I'm going to show you my posture by transferring into this chair because this has more of a soft, airy, rojo cushion. This new chair, the cushion is very, it's custom to my bottom and it's actually lower on one side than the other to balance out my pressure and to also align my hips a little better. So I naturally kind of slouch and my body, my spine kind of curves like this. You can kind of see it probably. So if I were to lift myself up like this, I would say I'd be equal to this chair but I don't have to lift myself up when I'm in this chair. So right now I'm actually gonna do a floor transfer and then I am going to also try and do a floor transfer from this chair. I have yet to do it from this chair, but I also sit a lot higher. So to start, I'm actually just going to go on the floor and I'm not too concerned about going onto the floor from that big chair, I feel like it would be fine. So the main thing is just getting up. So let's try that. Adjust this angle a little better. That is pretty good right there. So, this foot plate is a lot flatter as well, which might be helpful in the balancing of my chair. I don't think it'll flip over as easily as my old chair because it's more of an angle because it's this one's low it doesn't shift as much so that might make it easier i don't have as much hand room compared to this chair i have slightly more my hand can fit on here nicely this one it's decent I'm pretty forward. Let's try this. Kind of tricky. I'll try holding on to this and lifting myself up. So if I can hold on to something on the other side, I can get up into this chair. Otherwise, it's like I'm way too forward. Because this one, I have more space to get on the floor and get up. So I'm actually going to get onto the floor 
from this high chair and get up in this chair and show you the difference. Okay. legs out a little bit. I'll try having this leg up and that one straight. Oops. Foot got stuck. And my shoe fell off. But you can see that that was a piece of cake compared to this one. This one I really have to like lean forward, but I also don't have much hand grip to go forward. So yeah, I'm gonna have to brainstorm with this one on how to do a floor transfer. I know when learning to do floor transfers, you could take the cushion off of your chair and put on the floor, sit on that, and then transfer from that elevated position into your chair. But that'll be trickier with this one because that's how my cushion and backrest comes off. It's all one piece. That's the brace. And here's this. I'll put it back on. When I lean forward, I feel secure. I'm gonna put this shoe on, and then I'll transfer into my other chair. So I'll do a reaching test in my other chair, and I'll also show you that I can do wheelies just fine. Got that shoe on, okay. So that's how I lean down. Here's my good old wheelies. Transfer into here now. Got my leg spasms. Here's my reach. I'm a lot, I'm pretty stable in here as well. I'm higher up, so my reach is a little different, but it's pretty close. Oh, I actually got this cushion on wrong. My cushion is leaning up against this tire. So I actually have to 
transfer so you can see I don't have side guards with my chair here so I have to be a lot more careful when it comes to putting my cushion back on it's got to be on perfect How does that look? Is it touching? I don't think so. No, oh, it's a good three quarter. Okay. Alright, we'll try that again. When I get into this seat, because there's so much of a dump and it's so custom to how my bottom is, it kind of moves my pants, so I have to adjust them a lot because it is so form-fitting to my body. So get that chair out of the way. And there's a little comparison between my two chairs. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.